is a sad and tragic story. A teenage girl from Tacoma who jumped to her death off of a bridge over I-5. It happened last month, but this is the first time we're reporting on it. Brandy Cruz explains why and has the very important lesson it can teach all of us about the power of social media. It's a story we've been avoiding for the last 11 days. Because until now, there were a lot of rumors, but few facts about why 13 year old Isabel Loxamana took her own life on the 48th Street overpass. On May 29th, Tacoma police say Isabel leapt out of a car driven by her grandparents, pulled herself over this fence, and fell onto the traffic below. She died the next day. Why did she do this? Um, she just felt like she couldn't take it anymore. There's a lot of things going on in her life. Almost immediately, rumors about what drove her to suicide began to circulate on social media, as rumors often do. At the center of them was this 15 second video. The consequences of getting messed up, man, you lost all that beautiful hair. The video shows Isabel's once long black hair on the ground. Her father can be heard in the background. Was it worth it? How many times did I warn you? Tacoma police say Isabel's parents didn't want her using social media and warned her if she disobeyed, they'd cut her hair as a punishment. So when they found out she shared a suggestive photo with a boy online, that's exactly what they did. And video of that punishment ended up on social media for the world to see. It now has more than 4 million views. As it went viral, the story made national news with headlines blaming Isabel's father for posting the video online and suggesting his actions contributed to her suicide. After all, it wouldn't have been the first time a parent tried shaming their child online. This is for my daughter, Hannah, and more importantly for all her friends on Facebook who thought that her little rebellious post was cute. This video of a dad shooting his daughter's laptop after she complained about her parents on Facebook has been viewed 40 million times. This right here is my 45. Dr. Gregory Jantz is a psychologist who is an expert in child behavior. He says posting videos like that online can be devastating to a teenager. If I'm shamed among my peers, I have no place to go. I don't see options. So blaming Isabel's dad would be easy. But the problem is that after a full investigation, Tacoma police say her father was not the one who put the video online. Police say it was Isabel who shared it amongst her friends, one of whom decided to post it after Isabel jumped from that bridge. So if it wasn't public shaming brought on by her father that drove her to take her own life, as many suggested, then what was it? Isabel's friends at school say she was also being bullied by classmates and was upset she couldn't run for student government. And I think it, it just pushed her too far to where she wanted to do what she did. In response, Tacoma Public Schools said staff was unaware of any current student to student harassment, intimidation, or bullying of Isabel at school. But that when staff learned that a video showing Isabel's haircut was being shared amongst her peers, a Child Protective Services report was made and Isabel received counseling support at school. After reading notes that Isabel left behind, police now believe she jumped to her death because she was ashamed of her own use of social media and worried those photos she sent a boy online would haunt her for the rest of her life, although we may never really be certain. The only thing we are certain of is that a 13-year-old is dead. Her friends, her family, her community are grieving. All of them trying to figure out why a young, vibrant girl could have felt that this was her only way out. It is just so heartbreaking. And we have learned that Isabel left behind some suicide notes of sort. Do we have any idea what she said in those? Does it provide any more answers? Yeah, well, we haven't been able to read them personally, but we spoke to the Tacoma Police Department today, and they let us know what was in some of those notes. And interestingly, one of them, uh, these digital notes, was addressed to Isabel's father. Uh, she told her dad that she loved him and that she didn't blame him and that he shouldn't accept any of the blame for essentially what she was about to do. Now, you know, in addition to all these rumors that have been circulating online, there are also people based on those rumors who were calling on Isabel's father to be pro 
prosecuted criminally for posting this video online. And of course, we know now, according to police, he didn't do that. As the Tacoma Police Department, tomorrow they're expected to wrap up their death investigation. And they say it's not likely that anyone would face any criminal charges connected to her suicide. I think a lot of people just want to hold somebody accountable because it's so difficult to understand why so a kid sad. like this would take her own life. Very sad. You're right, Brandy. Thank you.